What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord. I just want to do a very quick video showing um, that I did install um, Jelly Bean on the Samsung Galaxy Tab Plus. This is uh, CM10. And I'm going to let you guys see the boot animation. Um, it's, still a work in pro it's still a work in progress, but uh, it is good enough to be a daily driver. So if you're looking for a little different look, a different feel to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Um, I would definitely recommend this ROM. So far, um, I haven't found a lot of major, major uh, bugs, but uh, yeah, but this is Jelly Bean, so your lock screen is different. You have access to your camera, your Google Now, or you have uh, to unlock it, and in the rotation does does work. So. Oh, upside down. So right now the launcher I'm running, I'm actually running Nova Launcher. Um, the stock stock launcher is cool, but uh, for some reason it zooms in the wallpaper. So anybody that ever has issues with wallpapers on the Ice Cream Sandwich or the Android device, I'd recommend using Nova Launcher. <coughs> launcher different, but as you see, um, it's pretty much is Jelly Bean. Now your notification bar is now at at the top now. So you pull it down. You have access to your notifications. If you have a notification, they are expandable. So you, if you use two fingers, you can expand your notification now in Jelly Bean. Um, your music players um, can also use the expanded notifications, so you can have more options when you when your music player. Um, text messaging, emails. I don't have any notifications to show at the moment, but so now that's there's now your your notifications now. Um, the only weird wonky thing about this ROM so far that I've noticed is your bottom soft keys are backwards. It has your recent apps over here and it has your back here but as soon as you turn it oh I had to try to turn the rotation if I'm, I'm, I'm sorry but see the notice notification down down here when you turn rotate it it reverses them so actually in portrait mode this is the way they're supposed to be your back key is supposed to be on the left your reach snap is supposed to be on the right but when you are in portrait mode it flips them around so that's a little frustrating <coughs> but that's the only uh, super major bug also the other uh, bug I've noticed is that your gallery does not show your your um, your online albums and that's also the same thing on my Epic 4G Touch I have Jelly Bean and for some reason it doesn't show your Picasso albums but the ROM runs smooth there's no lag, there's no stutter um, right now I'm using Nova Nova Launcher so the animations are sped up but there's no lag anywhere really in, in this ROM um, you have access to the stock browser. So this is the stock. I think it's the ice cream sandwich browser or jelly bean browser. I'm not sure. Um, really good browser. No issues. Everything about the ROM is 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 a very 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 smooth. Um, Google now works. So we'll do a quick demonstration. What's the weather like? 72 degrees and clear in Omaha. So, there we go. The thing, um, one cool thing about the ROM is it seems like I don't know if they've upped the uh, the volume, but uh, the toe tap seems to be just a, like a like a notch or two louder than it would be stock, which is really cool for um, when you're watching Netflix. I always thought the Netflix was uh, a little volume was lo a little low, but um. The volume works good. You also have access to your settings up here. You have some quick toggles that you can change. Those are CM10 settings. I'll show you just some of the settings that you get in in, in CM10. You have launcher settings, so you can. <clears throat> uh, that's where you can uh, adjust some launcher settings. You have the lock screen settings. You can add like your calendar events or add weather right right to the 
right to the lock screen. You can also add different targets so you can have more than just the, the three. You also have uh, themes. Anybody that's ever used the uh, um, uh, uh, CM ROM, like CM9 or whatever, you can change the themes. I don't have any themes downloaded right now, but uh, you can make your tablet look totally different. You also have some system. This is where you can adjust your your widgets in your notification bar. So you can adjust these, adjust the toggles. Wallpaper. Um, the font size. I got the font size on large because the when you when it's on normal, it's very very small throughout the whole app. So. Um, you also get pretty much just your basic regular options. You also have some advanced options and those are uh, like Galaxy Tab um, specific options. Uh, you can change the screen mode, touch sensitivity, and some other things. So that's, so that's pretty uh, cool. You also have performance settings. I, I don't really know if those work. I, I don't really mess with. I don't like to mess with stuff too much. So, um, just to show you guys, Android 4.1.1, the little Easter egg. If you keep tapping, oh no, there's jelly beans. So that's so that's pretty cool. Um, all the widgets work. I mean, so far it's this ROM is running great. Battery life has been on par with uh, what we're used to. Another um, positive about this ROM is I have a lot of game loft games that were not compatible with the Galaxy Tab before. Um, I have Modern Combat 3. I have uh, Gangstar City of Rio, and all those game loft games that were not compatible. Now that I have the CM10 they are all now compatible so um, all my apps are still worked up here to install this you are going to have to have you be rooted and you need clockwork mod um, if you want to know how to do any of that just go ahead uh, check out my channel because I actually show a video on how to root it how to install clockwork mod and um, if you guys would like I can do a video on how to install CM10 but it's, it's a very simple process all you need to do is get the ROM on the tablet, get the appropriate Jelly Bean apps, and then you're gonna do a factory reset. <coughs> you're gonna factory reset um, and wipe your got the, your your Dalvi cache um, and your cache partition. You're gonna flash the ROM, and then you're gonna flash the Jelly Bean apps. And then after it loads up, then you should be on Jelly Bean on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I can answer any questions. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. You can also follow me at Twitter Second Accord. I do have a um, posted link for every time I'm uploading a new video. If you like what you see, Go ahead and subscribe, second accord, I'm out.